Hello, hello. Hey, Salty, how you doing? Want more Kingdom Come? Uh, me too. Me too. <laughs> Such a good game. Okay. Uh, game we're playing tonight is called Far Lone Sales. Just a little cute game. That's all it is. I've had it for a while. Um, so we can get rid of it uh, after tonight because it's like a one, like three hours, three and a half hours, something like that. Reading this so hard with his big belly. I bet. I kind of know what that's like. <laughs> so the game, it says, traverse a dried out seabed littered with the remains of a decaying civilization. Keep your unique vessel going. Overcome numerous obstacles and withstand the hazardous weather conditions. Yeah. That's not spooky at all. It does. It does. You're unprepared for it. <laughs> There's more. You keep telling me go after Teresa. I believe uh, we can have sex with Teresa, too. That is probably one of my favorite quests in the in of any game. Because it was so good. It was just so funny. You like the after, not the awkward during? V. Still have about an hour left. Oh, that's in the way. Oh, uh, let's see here. How do we get rid of that? X. What's to do with this thing? Well, I passed it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm carrying. I guess we're just going to keep bringing it with me. I don't know how to get back up. Forget something? I think I forgot something. Maybe not. I mean, I passed through there. I just don't know what to do with it. I'm like, what do I have on my hand? I don't know what I have in my hand. Yeah, it's kind of a cutesy game. It doesn't tell me what I need to be doing. Yeah, I think this is pretty short, so it should only last like, uh, it's only like three and a half hours or something like that. It's not very long. If I jump down, don't think I can get back up. Yeah, so whatever I did, I think I'm done in here. Yeah, all right. We'll continue to go. Hopefully I didn't mess something up. sprinting. It's as fast I'm going. I don't know what I'm carrying. Mm 
<laughs> now I get like a boat type of thing is what I get. That's what I travel with. I just don't know when I get it. You have a second one of these too. This thing in my hand. Oh, okay, okay. What's in my hand? Oh, that turns it off. Okay. It's my break. Do you have to keep an eye on our steam? Friday's game? I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, okay, that gives me energy. Okay. Let the citron just keep pushing it in. Uh, next Friday, so I have a list of games um, that are about three streams worth. Should be able to lock that in. And uh, the next one might be. Uh, where is it on the list here? Oh my gosh. Um, oh, it pushed me back. Wait, I gotta have enough energy for stuff. Okay, so next one is going to be one of those Telltale games, like we did with, uh... Um... The Wolf Among Us, but it's going to be The Expanse. So that one we might do next. I just want to pick all these up. Okay. Be allowed to pick it stuff up. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I, I'm thinking it might do. But some of the other games, pick it up. Uh, would be I think RoboCop 
this one I might want to do because that's a pretty short game. Uh, let's see. I might also have a list. Um, Scars Above, maybe. That's kind of an action-y, almost Souls-like-y game, I think. Um, Terminator game. It's like a shooter game. There's Aquanox, which is kind of like a underwater... Um, I want to say this under like an underwater submarine type of game and there's Callisto Protocol that right now is currently on uh, it's currently on Game Pass so Callisto Protocol is like a, a horror game I don't know if there's much shooting or anything in there but it is like a horror game there's Evil West which is kind of a Wild West shooting magic game and then there's also on Game Pass is Dead Space, the new, the remake, which is another. It's kind of like Crystal Protocol. It's going to be a like a horror game. Uh, actually, I gotta get back up there. Throw you there. Should give us that energy. I'm gonna ch check out this. Thing here. Got a chair and a bed. Nothing else there. I don't know what this stuff is. Almost looks like a padlock thing over there. So we could put more storage in here too. Okay, I like that. Let's go. Yeah, and those are all pretty short games. Like, there's probably a few more, but those are... Oh, there's Bound by Flame. That's another one I'm interested in. That one's uh, made by spiders. Not sure how many Fridays left in the year. Oh my gosh! Down, going downhill kind of screwed me. Right of energy. I thought this like locked it into place, like right there, but it doesn't seem to lock it into place very well. Yeah, we got to keep an eye on. Kind of reminds me of a series of, uh, I've only watched a TV show. Uh, you might just, I don't know what that barrel is. Where it is, I can store it up there. Well, that's what I saw. I watched the uh, TV show with uh, Neil Patrick Harris. That's what I saw. I, I haven't read the books. Uh, you know what? We're just going to leave you here. All right. Continue. Yeah, it's supposed to be a short game. I'm not sure. Uh... What all we do in here? Right now, I'm just slowly moving. Cordelius, how you doing? What 
What is that? Is that my mileage? Is that what's moving? I think that's mileage. Doesn't quite fill it up. Come on, push. There you go. <laughs> Something blue up there. I can get up there. Can't jump that. I'm gonna jump on top of this. Okay, that might work. I want to do that. Okay, so we're going to set this down here. Let's try to move up just a little bit further ahead. Uh, might need some more power, though. Just a tiny bit. Keep coasting. That's not good. Uh... I don't think I can get up to that thing. I think it's going to be too high for me to jump. Good. Okay. That worked out. Drop this off again. I don't know if the, I can use this for anything or, or if it's for fuel. Not sure. If you have any plans, uh, well, I mean, I think my, uh, my mom and dad are coming down Sunday and then we got to go pick out new carpet for basement tomorrow. What is this thing? Is it a zoom again? X? Is that thing up there? It's an upgrade? Oh, I think it's an upgrade. Oh, we're gonna hire hire people to fix it. Wait, we just gotta pick some out now. Cause about half our basement we have no carpet.
we go. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if this is fuel. Oh, do I have to keep pushing it? Oh, so I don't have to use my power. I can just do that instead. Okay, let's go up there and just run up our sails then. So we'll preserve our uh, energy. Take advantage of the wind. I like the art style in here, it's not too bad. Maybe if I had, you know, yeah, monster, broke it out. Maybe if I didn't have sails with massive holes in there, I'd go a little bit faster. Oh no, I still got the 1919, great. having the monster first. It's not really... I don't know if monster really has any sugar. Yeah. This one has no sugar. desolate out here, don't it? So, I've been reading this new uh, trilogy, fantasy trilogy, and uh, it is amazing. I, I want them to make it into a movie, and not like some crappy... Uh, This one. Uh, there's something on the ground. Let's go get that. The book? This is the second one. I've already read the first one. So, Brian McClellan. The first one is Sin, Sins of Empire. This one's Wrath of Empire, and the last one's Blood of Empire. It is so good. Um, Again, I wanted to make a movie, and I'm not just like some super crappy CW movie type of movie. Uh, make it Lord of the Rings type of movie, that kind of quality, and I think it'd be fantastic. It's uh, the book is Flintlock and Sorcery. It's basically oh, pick that up. I don't know what this thing is, but we're gonna put it in here. Or actually, no, let's put it in our room. We've got some hooks up there. Well, I mean, it's Lord of the Rings, but I'm just saying that quality. Don't make some cheesy, crappy movie. Make it that kind of quality of a movie, and I think it would be phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to beat, but the story in this thing is really good. I don't know what this is I'm picking up. They don't really tell me. It's kind of just guess. It's what this thing is, because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what this is doing. Either. I have no idea what that is. Okay, we got to find a way to remove this. I'm wondering if energy, we can push it with this. Uh, 
let's see. What do I gotta do to remove this thing? Can't go past it. I have no idea what this thing is. It just spins. I don't, I'm not sure, but it's spinning. Um. This what's this blue thing? This. Like, this looks like it needs to be something here. But I don't know what. Oh, it's a fire hose. Okay. Is this barrel used for anything? Okay, so if we let this fire go, we can do that. But this thing, I have no idea what it is. I can't tell what that is. Oh, there's stairs down here. I get, I don't know what the, is that a bomb? What is that? Hog? I, I don't know what that is. Whoa! Okay, that works. Got rid of it. something else down there too uh, let's go through the stairs again I, I don't know what I'm picking up I can't really see what it is and it doesn't tell me so it's a guess like there's something right there it looks like yeah this looks safe right here don't it it's a bell That went down. I can't. Oh, I have to go back up this way, maybe? Jump! Can I take the painting? I want the painting. So, can we have a bell here? Is that what this thing is? Oh. So, it looks like it maybe repel. Is that what this thing is, too? It is. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, so the book I'm reading, uh, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Really like it. I didn't know what to expect from a uh, sorcery flintlock. Uh, the first one is Sin, Sins of Empire. Second one is Wrath of Empire. Third one is uh, Blood of Empire. How big? Each book's over 600 pages. About halfway done on the second book now. <laughs> 